Hi there, I'm Debbie. Welcome to My Vagabond Style. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to work on uh, something with a master board. So when I first decided to switch over from my vintage channel to paper crafting, I the first video I made on my channel was a master board, and I'll link that below. I decided to go ahead and make like a neutral one. So I made this neutral one, and I'm going to make some smaller tags for smaller journals with this, but I'm not going to cut it up. I'm going to save this and I've scanned, I've scanned it so I can use it over and over again because as a background, uh, you know, it won't look the same depending on what you put on the front of it. So I'm going to save this one and reuse and reuse. And here's the copy. And I'm going to use some book pages from when I've been gluing things. I've just kind of folded them long ways, and I'm going to cut them this way. So I'll get six tags out of this. And I am going to sew around them, but if you did not want to sew, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can absolutely just make sure you glue them real well with your glue stick. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. I'm going to show you, but since I'm using my sewing machine, I'm just going to kind of pass over it real quick. Let's see which way should I go. Maybe I'll go this way. Do this. And then this one. And then I can just cut off that end and use that for something else. Be sure that I have that. Looks good. Okay. I finally asked my husband to fix my scissors. I had such a hard time opening these, and all he did was he adjusted this little screw here for me. So, thank you, Hubster. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, so I can use that down the line. Or something else. And then I'm going to back these so that I can have journaling cards with some uh, digital coffee dyed paper that I got from Roxy's Creations on Etsy. So I know it's been a while since I put out a video. Um, I was busy getting ready for company and then I had company, which was so fun. It was my friend Julie from Day Trip Vintage Co. came and her husband came to visit us in Arizona. So that was the first time that we met in person, but we like talk pretty much every day. And, um, so, you know, there was, I felt like it was, there was no getting to know you. Like we already knew each other. And, um, but I did get a chance to get to know her husband who we adored. And so that was so much fun. They're like the best visitors ever. And can't wait to see them again. So we've got lots, lots in common. So let's see. Here's the coffee dyed paper that I got from Roxy Creations. And I want this on this side of it. So I'll flip it over. And I might go ahead and cut these right now. Go ahead and cut them in half now. 
The reason being is um, I think I can get more on the paper that way and save some of it. Easy to cut these without a ruler because these I just go with the line of the um, type. But I don't really care if they're exactly in half or not. And then again, I'll just take my glue stick and go ahead and just lay them down. Oops, maybe this way would be better. And I want to make sure that I'm not too, I should have maybe cut the edge off so I'd know where, because it didn't print the full paper there. See what I mean? Right here. <laughs> maybe, maybe I can get them all. Maybe not. We'll see. Yay. Okay. <clears throat> and then all I have to do is cut these out. So I think what I'm going to do is I have some already already ready that I took to the sewing machine. And instead of having you watch me cut all these out, I can do that later and finish them up. But I'll show you the ones that I already have. So I took these to the sewing machine already and just did a little zigzag stitch on them. I don't know if you can see that. See, there's a little zigzag right here and a little zigzag right there. And there's the back. So let's just decorate them. I mean, they go together so quick. I went ahead and fussy cut a bunch of really tiny images. <laughs> Super tiny. I did that when I was watching TV, so easy, easy. Let's see. Anyway, we'll use those and some others. So let's see, what do we want to use here? I've got flowers and butterflies and some of the washi stickers. Let's see, maybe some washi stickers. A little bit of color. Well, that one's pretty. That's great. I'm going to go ahead and use that one. These I just got on Amazon. That's nice, I think. Oh, here's a pretty, maybe bring in some color. Yeah, I like that one better. And maybe a mushroom. See how they look. Maybe like that, and I could put a little butterfly or something up there. Or maybe one of those frogs. I have a cute little frog here. He's pretty big, though. That calls for a larger mushroom. Yeah, maybe like that. 
Okay, I'm going to start putting some of this down. See if I can get these. These are just so difficult to get that backing off. Oh, this one came right off. So these I like to put a little extra glue on. Just don't trust the washi glue. Okay. This one I might put towards the side so I can put something up there. pretty love that red okay this guy come on now <laughs> this is what I mean about these stickers oh okay I think I got it. Okay, I like that. We'll put him right down here like he's hanging out by the mushroom. I think this little um, frog I got on Graphics Fairy when I had a subscription to them. Let's see. Okay, so we've got those three. Got two more here. Um, let's see what we have in there. Butterflies here. Could make this one go sideways. I think I'll do that. That one I'd probably call that good. Now I can put that there. What else? Got uh if you can hear that, I'm sorry, I've got my laundry going. <laughs> Maybe one just like that without anything else. I just got the, all these containers. They came in like a little suitcase, a plastic suitcase at uh, Joann's. They had a sale and it was 50% off because I think this was originally $50 for the set. And it comes with, um, I don't remember how many, four, eight like 16, 16 cases, two of each color. And then I got it 50% off and then there was another 20% off coupon. So I feel like I did well on that. And I love that I can divide everything out 
into, you know, like butterflies and flowers. So they have their own little container. Okay, that looks good. I think the only thing I want to put is maybe like a little tiny butterfly on this one. Maybe a smaller one, like that. I do have an even tinier one. Yeah, I like that one better. I think I'll put it over here. Okay. That way or that way? Like that way. And then this one needs a little something at the top here. Let's see. Maybe just the green one. Liking those, I am gonna put little toppers on some of them. Let's see. This one, I'm gonna think I'm gonna round the corners on. A little corner rounder here. Okay, I like that. There we go. And then these, I feel like I need a little something at the top. So I've got my bag of stash here. Let's see. All right, let me cut a little bit of this off. That might be pretty. Hmm, I'm just wondering how I'm going to attach it. Should I? I think I'm going to tack it on for right now, and then I'll go back and... Oh, you know what? I'll staple it. Yes. I hope this one will work. Try to get it in there without it moving the the ribbon, but it's so slick. Mm. Okay, I'll try one more time, and if that doesn't work, I'm gonna use a little glue. And my stapler failed. My stapler failed. Okay, it means I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> so we'll go back to a little glue. And then if I want to go back over it with a sewing machine, I will. So I just put a little Crap attack on there. And let it sit there for a bit. Okay. I have another little tiny stapler. Here it is. Maybe for the next one if I need that. Let's see.
cut a little bit of this up. That'd be nice. I think I'm just going to fabric tack that. Okay, so there's that one. Let me get where you can see those still. There we go. This one, I think I'm going to round the corners on this one too. how that looks. I think I'm just going to cut this maybe like right here and I'll staple it. Maybe. We'll see if this one works. Yeah, that's so easy. Okay. So I'm liking these really quick and I can fill my smaller journal with these. So see if I can focus. There we go. I think they turned out nice. And the butterfly. So thanks so much for joining me, and I hope you give these a try. Try making that master board from my first video, and then uh, make yourself some quick and easy tags. So, Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.